Hi, I'm Danny. I'm Victor. Hello, my name is Mark. We're from the design team at Media Molecule, and we're going to give you a few tips on how to make your own survival challenges. Survival challenges are mini games where you must die. The whole point being to survive for as long as you possibly can. Examples of survival challenges from the story mode in Little Big Planet include tie skipping, meerkat bounce, and the dangerous descent. There are several things you'll have to include in the level in order to make it a survival challenge, and we're going to detail those here so that you can have a go at making your own. After that, we'll check out some survival challenges that have already been created by your fellow creators in the Little Big Planet community. Okay, so the basic ingredients of a survival challenge are one entrance, the death-defying challenge itself, which usually increases in difficulty as the game progresses, and a scoreboard. These three basic ingredients are linked together by moving the entrance to the end of the level as soon as the challenge has started. This is the key to getting your survival challenge to work, because it ensures that when you are defeated and die, you respawn at the scoreboard, rather than back at the beginning of the level. There are loads of ways to move your entrance to the end of the level, and we're going to show you several methods right now. The first is to simply rotate the entrance using a wobble bolt to carry it over. Unfortunately, the wobble bolt is going to wobble back and forth, so we need to construct a simple one-shot switch mechanism which prevents it from returning. You can use this technique for a multitude of things, so it's worth learning. It uses a pair of magnetic key switches, with the key attached to a piece of dissolved material and the switch set to control direction, then inverted so it detects when the key is dissolved. We connect the switch up to the wobble bolt, then we connect a button up to the dissolved material. Now, if we go into play mode and test this out, we'll see that the button dissolves the key, the switch detects this and changes the direction of the wobble bolt. That very same button could also be used to start the challenge off. Okay, so a similar method of moving the entrance is to do exactly the same thing, but this time using a piston. It's probably worth noting that you should make the piston move as fast as is practical, so that if the player dies at the start of the challenge, they don't end up respawning halfway between the start and the scoreboard. Another slightly hacky method is to delete your entrance by squashing it with something large and heavy. This forces the player to spawn from the scoreboard. The last method we're going to show you is to rely upon gravity to slide or roll your entrance down a steep slope. Just attach the entrance to a circular piece of glass and prevent it from moving by blocking its path with a piece of dissolved material. Then just hook the button up to the dissolved material and you're all done. To make your survival challenge more interesting, you can increase the difficulty over time. Perhaps the simplest way to do this is to stick with the same game mechanic but increase the speed as the challenge continues to make it increasingly difficult to stay alive. One way to achieve this is by building a little moving car on a track, wired up with magnetic key switches set to control the speed scale of, uh, say, a piston. As the car gets closer to the switch, the speed of the piston's movement increases and it gets harder to stay alive. But you'll need to prevent the car from moving until the challenge has begun. So add one of those little one-shot switch devices to set the car in motion when the player initiates the challenge. Another good use of the car on the track is to use it as an event sequencer. By placing additional magnetic key switches at various different points along the track, you can trigger new challenges as the game progresses. In the discombobulator I used this technique to set off a cannon, just to make it that little bit harder. In Cowabunga, Kenny used the same technique to make the interactive music increase in intensity as the game progresses. One last tip on making your survival challenge fun and accessible is to make sure you always explain the rules or give the player some kind of guidance before the game begins. And on that point, let's look at some of the community's survival challenges. One thing that makes these levels particularly polished is that they've taken the time to explain what's about to happen. And that's particularly important when the player is entering a minefield. Dodge Those Ice Balls by Ventus is a nice example of that.
Steel Wheel by Gamer Don demonstrates ramping up in difficulty nicely, initially by removing sections to make the jumps harder, and later by emitting deadly projectiles. The Spiralizer by Nuclear Fish is a really nice looking level, well constructed, making good use of the Metal Gear Solid Pack assets. You can buy the Metal Gear Solid pack of the in-game store. Your home radio address you do not keep up with things. Clear the Decks by Ayrton Mark is an atmospheric level with great use of sound. Pretty stressful and frantic towards the end, but that's part of the fun. All of the community levels featured here can be found in the news section of your Infomoon, so check them out. That's all from us. We hope these tutorials and levels have inspired you, and we look forward to seeing the fruits of your labours over the coming weeks. At that point, we'll do an MM Picks highlighting the best of your survival challenges. Have fun! Bye! 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 Bye.